What's up my stat stars, Michael Prentrick here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at FRQ number one from the 2025 AP Statistics Free Response section. All right, here is the question. So the manager of an automotive, automotive company is interested in comparing the gas mileages for cars manufactured in country A and cars manufactured in country B. So he selects a random sample of 100 cars manufactured in country A and another 100 cars manufactured in country B. And he looks at the gas mileage in miles per gallon for each and they summarize it in this box plot below. So we see two parallel box plots, one for country A, one for country B. Cool thing about box plots is we see the five number summary, the min, the max, Q1, Q3, the median, and we also notice there's an outlier for country A. Now part A asks a pretty simple question, just asks us to compare the distributions of gas mileages for the two countries. Just make sure you use comparison language, higher than, less than, more than, greater than, and make sure you do it in context. So here's what I wrote down for my answer. The distribution of gas mileage in cars manufactured in country A is skewed to the right, while the distribution for cars manufactured in country B is slightly skewed left or even roughly symmetric. Now, when we look at this, we clearly see country A is skewed to the right. To the right of the median, we see that there is way more spread to the data, way more spread out over here. And also with that outline, we're definitely going to be more spread out. Now, country B, you know, I thought the left side looked a little bit more spread out, but it's not a you know, a dramatic amount. So that's why I said slightly skewed to the left, or you can maybe even call country B a little bit symmetric. Next up, I want to talk about the centers. So the center for the distribution of country A is around the median of 18 miles per gallon, while country B's is much higher, see that comparative language there, at a medium of 32. And that's kind of the cool thing here about these box plots is we could see that the median is right here for 18 for country A and 32 for country B. So noticing that country B is a much higher median. And then finally, we want to talk about the spread. I said the distribution for country B is way more spread out, ranging from 18 to 40, while country A ranges from 14 to 30, with that outlier 38. So yes, that outlier does technically count in the range, but if you just kind of look at the whiskers, country B is way more spread out than country A. With the outlier, I understand that they don't look as spread out, so you can maybe say that they have a, a roughly equal spread, but, you know, oftentimes when we talk about spread, the, the outlier makes the range look way, way wider than it is, which is why it's better if we actually look at the IQRs and the IQR for country B is also more spread out for um, country B than country A. And that's pretty obvious to see that as well. So you want to make sure you mention all of those things. And of course, mentioning the outlier for country A that country B does not have any outliers. So overall, not too bad of a question. All right, let's look at question B. For the distribution of gas mileage for the sample of cars in country A, so we're only looking at country A, would you expect the mean to be greater than 18 or less than 18 or equal to 18? Justify your answer. Well, due to the fact that country A is very skewed to the right, the mean is going to be higher. Now, here's my explanation for that. I wrote, I would expect the mean for country A to be higher than 18 miles per gallon. This is because the mean is influenced by the skewed right shape of the distribution, as well as the large outlier on the high side. The mean must factor all those values into account, and that's going to make the mean be higher than 18, because the mean, every single value matters, and that one really, really high values, and even those high values to the right, um, that, that upper 50% that's more spread out, is going to drag the mean to the right, meaning it's definitely going to be higher. All right, part C was a two-part question. They want us to, once again, um, the manager was going to create a new box plot combining all of the gas mileages together. So putting country A and country B together. First question is, what is the range of that combined data set? And then the second part is, what would the approximate median be? Now let's talk about the range. Now the range is going to be 40 minus 14 or 26. Now here's how I came up with that. The max for country B is 40, and that's larger than the max of country A. So if you put all the data together, the largest value is going to be 40 from country B. And then the min from country A is 14, lower than any of the min from country B. So that means the lowest value, if you put them all together, is going to be that min from country A. So now if we take the max of 40 and the min of 14, 40 minus 14 is how it came up with 26. So pretty easy question. Now for coming up with the median. This one's a little bit trickier, so let me explain. Now we know that when you have 200 total cars, we had 100 from each, we put them all together, the median's gonna be right in the middle with roughly 100 above and 100 below, right? I say roughly because technically there won't be, a, you know, the median is gonna be right above 100 and right below 101, if that makes sense. But the idea is that there's roughly 100 on each side of the median when you have 200. 
So every one of these chunks has 25 cars in it. 25 cars, 25 cars. And then this chunk right here is 25 cars as well. So I estimated the median to be around 24. And here's my justification. Below 24, I see 100 cars. The 25 here, the 25 here, the 25 here, and the 25 down below the Q1 for country B. So that's going to be my median because there's going to be 100 cars above it excuse me, 100 cars below it, which means there's going to be 100 cars above it as well. So here's another 25, 25, 25, and then 25 is going to be above Q3 for country A. So that value of 24 miles per gallon is going to cut the data in half with 100 cars below it and 100 cars above it. So that's it for FRQ number one for the 2025 AP Statistics exam. I think it's pretty easy. Stay tuned for the next video over question number two.